All right, so we're going to take a look at multiplying polynomials. So again, add it to your table of contents. And then we're going to make a tab. So two lines make right multiplying, cut to the margin, and then cut down. And then put a title on the next two pages. When I start writing my notebook, for some reason, I do it on the right-hand side. But make sure you're starting. Always start your notebook on the left-hand side in case you need more space. Mine will all fit on the right, but start on the left. All right, first step, draw a box. Um, the height is going to be one more than the degree of the first polynomial. The height is going to be one more than the degree of the first polynomial. And really, this is going to be just like the lattice multiplication. So this is where it comes um, into play. So one more than the degree of the first polynomial. That's the height. The length is going to be one more than the degree of the second polynomial. So the length is going to be one more than the degree of the second polynomial. Right, so you're going to actually recognize what this is. So it's going to be really simple this way. And this way, make sure that you don't leave any terms out so you don't get the question wrong. So this is actually the way I want you to do it. Number two, write the polynomial on the outside edges of the box. Write the polynomials on the outside edges of the box. The very important thing to remember is that you have to include zeros if needed. Include zeros if needed. What does that mean? So if I had x squared minus 1, I remember I have to go um, 2, 1, 0. So I'm missing the 1. So it's going to have to be x squared plus 0x minus 1 because I was missing the exponent of 1. So you have to include the zeros. Number 3, multiply. Number 4, like terms will be the diagonals. Then combine them. So number four, like terms will be the diagonals, then combine them. So this is actually really exactly the lattice multiplication. All right, then um, number five, write in standard form. So first example, if you had 2x minus 3 times 4x squared plus 6 minus 6. All right, so you have to look at the degree. Remember, the degree is the exponent, like we've done before. So the degree over here is 1. So if the degree is 1, remember the height. So you have to draw a box, but you need the height. The height is 1 more than the degree of the first polynomial. So we're going to do 1 plus 1 to find the height, because it's 1 more than the degree. So it's going to be 2. The height is going to be 2. The length is going to be one more than the degree of the second polynomial. The degree here is 2. The exponent is the biggest exponent or the largest exponent of 2. And it's going to be one more. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So the height is 3. So we're going to draw the box with a height of 2 and a length of 4. So go ahead and draw this box. Make it as even as you possibly can with a height of 2 and a length of 3. Just like that. There's my box. All right. It says write down the polynomials on the outside edges of the box. So the first polynomial is just the height, and then the second one is the length. So here's my height, perfect, two. Here's my length, perfect, three. That means there are no zeros. If I didn't have a perfect match, it means I had some zeros. Like times, you're gonna multiply like times with the diagonals. So multiply, that's gonna be four x cubed. That's gonna be two x squared. And remember, don't forget to add the exponents with the x's. Negative 12 x squared negative 3, negative 6, positive 18. Okay? Now, like terms will be diagonals combine them. So I'm going to take colors here so I can show you what they are. So I'm just going to draw diagonals. I'm going to do different colors. Diagonals on different colors so that you can see them. All different colors on my diagonals. All right? And that's what it is. Combine them. So purple is by itself. Combine the blues. That's tigers versus trojans. Tigers win by 10. Tigers versus tigers. More tigers. 15 and that one's by itself so just plus 18 and that's it that's your answer so multiplying is really just like the lattice multiplication and this makes it so simple because it's already in order and you don't skip anything but let's see if we were missing something we had to put a zero so let's look at another example all right so we have x to the fourth power minus 3x squared plus 2x squared minus x plus 5 multiplied by 2x squared plus 4 
So again, we're gonna, first thing we're gonna need to do is draw a box. So we need to determine what our height and our length is. So remember, our height is one more than the first one. What's the degree? Four, right? That's the biggest exponent, so the degree is four. So add one to that, that's gonna be your height. So the height is four plus one, which is five. And we're gonna do the same thing for the second one. The length is one more than the degree of the second one. So the second one, the highest exponent is two. And we're going to add one to that, so 2 plus 1, which is 3. That's your length. So now we're going to draw our box. So the height is going to be 5, so 5 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 lines, and we need 3. 1, 2, 3. Make your boxes. Okay, so then now we're just going to write them across on the outside. And we're going to count to make sure that they have enough. So this one says that only five boxes means they should be five terms. That one says that three boxes should be three terms. So you can see we're missing something. Write the polynomials on the outside edges of the box. Be zeros if you include zeros if you need. So we're going to be careful when you write this down because it's not matching. So it's going to go four, three, two, one, zero. So this one's actually okay because it has all of the terms. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and I'm talking about the exponents. On this one, it should have 3, but it only has 2, so there's 1 missing, and it's between, it should go 2, 1, 0. So I was missing the 1. So now you make sure you put the 0x. So that's going to be the biggest thing. Multiply, everything else is easy. The biggest thing is just going to remember to put the 0. Add the exponents, so it's the 6. Add the exponents, so to the 5, but it's 0, so it doesn't matter. And just 4x to the 4th power. All right, so negative 6, and then add the exponents, so to the 5 negative well zero add the exponents to the four and then negative 12 x cubed uh, four add the exponents to the four zero add the exponents to the three and eight x cubed Let's go ahead and correct that so negative two x add the exponents of the three uh zero x at the exponent squared negative four x last one 10 x squared zero x and 20. Alright, so the light tabs are the diagonals and you're just going to combine them. So take different colors and make diagonals the easiest way so you don't skip anything. So take different colors and make diagonals. Listening check, listening check, shading the boxes with where it says example 1 and example 2 on this page. Shade in the boxes where it says example one and example two on this page. Then we're just going to combine them right now. So we'll start from the left hand side. It really doesn't matter, put it in order. So 2x to the 6 by itself. Then combine the blues, negative 6x to the 5. Combine those, that's 8x to the 4. Combine those, tigers meet tigers. So negative 14x to the 3. Then Trojans meets Trojans, that's 18x squared. And then that's just negative 4x, and that's just plus 20. And you're going to notice it's already in order. It goes 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So that's perfect. That's it. I'll do just one more example, and then you should be good to go. So example 3. We're going to have 6n cubed minus 6n minus 5 times 7n squared minus 5n plus 3. And I'm just going to use a space right here on the right hand top because I, I haven't used it. So draw a box, height is one more than the polynomial, so the length um, is one more. So what's the degree? There's three, so we're going to height is at one, so it's going to be four. So I need to have four terms. And I don't. you can see you only have three, so you know you're going to have a zero one. Degree here is two plus one is going to be 3 and you have 3 terms so that's going to be perfect. So the first one has a 0 in it so you have to go 3, 2, 1. So let's draw a box. So 4 versus 3. 1, 2, 3. Go ahead and make it. Write the polynomials on the outside edges of the box. Make sure you include those zeros. Alright, so first one, you'll see there are four, so I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? So let's go three, two, one. I'm missing three. I'm missing two. So it's going to go six and three, zero and two, because I'm missing the two. Then negative six n, and then negative five. So I got all of them. Then this one has three, so it's perfect. Seven n squared minus five n plus three. Alright, go ahead and multiply. 
and the like terms is the diagonals. So multiply, that's 6 times 7, that's going to be 42, n and add the exponents 5. Negative 30, n add the exponents 4. Uh, 18, n cubed. Next one, 0, add the exponents 4. 0, add the exponents 3. 0, and n squared. Next one, negative 42n at the exponents, divisible 1, so 3. Um, positive 20 at the exponents, n2. And negative 18n. Last one, negative 35n squared, positive 25n, and negative 15. Alright, so remember the like terms are your diagonals, and you just need to combine them, so take some colors, different colors, and do diagonals. Make them different so that you don't combine the wrong thing. Different colors to the diagonals. And I'm starting on the left because I'll be the highest exponent. 42n to the fifth power. Then that's just negative 30n to the fourth power. Tigers meets Trojans. Who's going to win? Tigers are going to win. I'm just going to do it on the side here. 42 minus 18. And they're going to win by... 24 and to the third power and then tigers versus trojans again tigers win by 5 n squared uh, tigers versus trojans trojans win by 7 n and negative 15 so notice it goes 5 4 3 2 1 0 and the exponents that is and that's it so let's get some practice in let's make sure we get really good at this because it's really easy